The bell tolls at a New York City church to honor victims of the 9-11 terrorist attacks rang at exactly 8.46 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the moment when the first of two planes hit the World Trade Center towers. It was 22 years ago today. Another commemoration took place at Ground Zero on hand. Vice President Kamala Harris and New York City Mayor Eric Adams. Nearly 3,000 people died in the deadliest terror attack ever on U.S. soil. And the anniversary comes just days after authorities identified the remains of a man and woman killed 22 years ago in the World Trade Center attack. They are the first victims identified in two years. Their names are being withheld at the request of their families. Join you on this solemn day to renew our sacred vow. Never forget. Never forget. We never forget. Each of us, each of those precious lives stolen too soon when evil attacked. President Biden giving remarks at a military base in Anchorage, Alaska. The president commemorating the solemn occasion after returning from his trip to India and Vietnam. Biden spoke about the heartache of the tragic event as well as the sense of national unity that came from it. That tragic day 22 years ago is still fresh in the memories of many Angelinos. And events across our region allowed residents to mourn and remember. Fox 11's Hal Eisner is here with that story. Today really is about a reflection, yeah. Hal. I remember that day mm -hmm. 22 years ago very, very well. I got up that morning and the world had changed for all of us. Bagpipes, taps, the ringing of a bell. LA's 9-11 Remembrance. The world forever changed on September 11th, 2001. Local officials from throughout Los Angeles County, hosted by the LA City Fire Department, reflecting on this day, 22 years after terrorists attacked the World Trade Center. The two planes into the two towers. They fell, and as they did, there was a rippling fear across America. And what uncertainty lied ahead? There was one point that I'll never forget. In 2001, then-County Supervisor and Board Chair Don Kanabi was at LAX about to fly to New York and told because of the attack, he was needed at the county's emergency operations center downtown. That's where I was as well. The FAA cleared the skies of airplanes and in downtown LA. FBI and Secret Service called those of us that were at the EOC uh, into this room and said, we have an issue. There is one plane still in the air, and we're all waiting to see whether it was going to be shot out of the sky, whether it was coming our way. I mean, we had no idea at that point. We just sat there in dead silence, and you could see the fear in everyone's eyes. No one talked. They really believed L.A. might be next. Yeah, because of Hollywood. I mean, that, you know, that was, you know, you go after World Trade Center, what's next is a big icon on the West Coast. It would be, would be Hollywood. But the fear got into all of us. Remembrances on this day as flags wave across Southern California, these at Pepperdine University, as we remember the moment when... And boom, out of the sky, New York City, and our whole lives changed forever and ever and ever.